क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेपर सेट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन अ व्हील ऑफ रेडियस आर रोल्स विदाउट स्लिपिंग ऑन अ हॉरिजॉन्टल सर्फेस शोन बिलो इफ द वेलोसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट पी इज टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड इन द हॉरिजॉन्टल डायरेक्शन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वेलॉसिटी ऑफ पॉइंट क्यू इन मीटर पर सेकेंड इज डैश इट इज शोन दैट दिस व्हील रोटेट्स एज वेल एज मूव फॉरवर्ड and point p is having a velocity of 10 meter per second let's find out the forward velocity of point q now when any circular motion happens along with the translation motion and there is one point of contact with the surface this point of contact is nothing but the instantaneous center let this be point ic now when the wheel rotates Let's assume the rotation is in clockwise direction and the wheel will go forward. So p has the velocity of 10 meter per second. Now as this wheel is undergoing a circular motion, it will have a angular velocity. Let that angular velocity be omega. So angular velocity of or angular speed of wheel be omega. This omega can be given as velocity of any point on the wheel divided by the distance from instantaneous center so we can write velocity at point p vp divided by this distance r because radius of the wheel is r this distance between the instantaneous center and p is r so we can write vp upon r therefore vp is r omega putting the value of vp we have r omega is 10 meter per second now angular velocity can be also calculated using velocity of point q which let it be vq divided by the distance from instantaneous center this complete distance will be r plus r that is 2r therefore we have velocity of point q vq is equal to 2r omega now we already have value of r omega from here as 10 meter per second so we can write vq is equal to 2 into 10 which is equal to 20 meter per second so with the concept of instantaneous center we can find velocity of point q when velocity of point p is given and vq being 20 meter per second let's fill in the answer magnitude of velocity of point q is 20 meter per second to learn more about circular motion you can refer to the nptel video lecture 22 circular motion from the course engineering mechanics by professor k ramesh he is from department of applied mechanics iit madras i hope this solution will help you clear your doubt thank you